Drum roll, please. We have a bit of a grill knife unveiling today, folks. This old sword with you. And this is a knife I've waited a long time for, ever since I was loaned one out by my good buddy Bob DeMarco, the knife junkie. And so I thought we'd start with a close-up on this really nice morale patch that came along with this knife. And you can see that it is indeed from Bastinelli Knives, Bastinelli Crenate Creations. Well, there's an interesting skull with the French flag imposed on it and the U.S. flag. And in the middle, let's see if we can get a little closer, you can see the logo for Bastinelli creations. Kind of neat. Tactical art. Indeed. So, what do we have here? I suppose the thumbnail gave it away. Have a beautiful pouch which contains indeed a beautiful blade. Check that out. This is the all new, newly redesigned somewhat, Big Dragotac. Big Dragotac attack. <laughs> this is a mammoth blade well over four and four inches, four and a half inches. ginormous. Now the changes that they made on this beauty, and believe me we're going to measure it up and compare it and whatnot, um, the changes they made from the original and one that was loaned out to me by Bob that I reviewed back around mid-year 2021 was in D2 They've since upped the steel. See if we can shine a light in here, maybe. They tucked it away. There you go. So this is made by Lion Steel in Italy um, of uh, M390. So they've upped the game quite a bit from D2. They changed the scale pattern on the G10 and somewhat contoured the handle and uh, the original G10 was kind of a uh, textured um, kind of a blasted G10 that just had the natural texture to it. This has the 3D modeling with a diamond pattern on it. And I was on the phone with uh, Bastion Coves uh, shortly before ordering this, because I needed a few specs on it, wanted to know what I was getting. You could only get them directly by email or phone because his website was down. They're uh, redoing their website. So he explained to me that they did redo the handles. This is still titanium, and there's a lot of it. It is a uh, folded over clip that is not deep carry but this is such a giant knife that they didn't want it bottoming out in your pocket. They do provide a lanyard hole and a carbide glass breaker. You can see that there's an insert I believe it's carbide inside of that hex nut on the very end of the knife. It is a frame lock with a hardened steel insert they got rid of the double lock. They had a turret style lock here that Lion Steel likes to do on a lot of their knives. They no longer have that. That really wasn't getting used a lot anyway, I don't think. And they changed the thumb disc opener to be 
kind of gear-like on the circumference of that. And it's a little thicker. It sort of slides down onto and screws into the blade with that Torx right there. And that's, I think, a T6. I'm not sure. Everything else on the knife, the profile is the same. Beautiful ergos. It's his Dragotax style with that longish clip point, extremely high blade, gigantic flat grind. How wide is this blade? I want to start with that. This blade is like almost an inch and three quarters, we'll call that like a, a 1.65 inches. Crazy. We have a blade length, and it seems much larger than it is really long. Uh, we're going to call that 4.6. Crazy. We have a blade thickness in millimeters of, I think we're going to call that 5 millimeters. Yeah, averaging five millimeters. And we've got a handle thickness, quite slim for the size of the knife, of 0.56. And lastly, but not leastly, we've got a weight. And it ain't going to be light. There we go. 8.3 ounces. Well, what'd you expect? <laughs> it's a big old knife. And did I even get the overall? I bet you I didn't. Overall, we've got 10 and 3 quarter inches to the handle and a little bit longer to the glass breaker. So almost an 11 inch knife. And yeah, I got a little left over. We can even do two hands on that guy, pocket sword, that it is. But it enables you to have all kinds of variety of grip on this folder. You can do the Filipino grip with the thumb extended fully on the back of the blade. You can choke back a little bit here onto this, this section of jimping, more of a saber grip. You can come way back here, and there is yet another swale for the thumb designed to do so and have a long reach and a chopping action. So you've got lots of flexibility with that handle. Let's take a good look around. We almost need to pan across to show you the whole handle. That handle, by the way, if we do just the handle, is six inches. I think you got enough no matter what size your paws are. <laughs> Beautiful jimping on that M390 blade. And you got a button right there for your thumb. It's almost a nice reference point. And you can go out further here. We have some nice jimping near the pommel. Cuts right through both the G10 and the um, backspacer and the titanium. Speaking of backspacer, we've got almost a full backspacer. Well, two thirds, right? We've got one, two, three, four screws along the handle, but you absolutely need them to hold this beast together. Most of those go through the back spacer. We got one that goes through the stop pin. And you got only guy thing you got to watch with this guy is that it's very easy to press on the lock bar. But check this action out. Falls like a guillotine. And this is barely broken in. This arrived yesterday. Listen to that sound. 
that FEC. See if we can get it up near the mic here. It's an amazing, reassuring, solid sound. And you can do anything with this blade. You've got enough point. You've got a nice little swedge. It is stonewashed through and through. There is the uh, one thing they did was they brought the branding way down on this from the original. Look how small the Bastinelli logo is. We've got nothing on this side. I was saying, where do they put the steel? They got to put the steel somewhere. And that's when I finally did see it on the inside of the knife up on the underside of the uh, backspacer. So for an 8 ounce knife it doesn't feel like it because it's kind of like an 8 ounce fixed blade, you know. Full size knife. You can even use this combatively for trapping. You can use that for striking, breaking glass, what have you. Again, fantastic fall shut action. Compared to a couple other, or at least one other Bastinelli that I have, that's got a similar shaped blade. It's similar because it's kind of rounded on the clip. This is the Shadow Flipper. This one's made by Fox in Italy. So Lion Steel and Fox have been the main manufacturers for uh, the OEMs for Bastinelli knives. This one has a beautiful carbon fiber on one side instead of the G10. And a very similar titanium handle with a uh, somewhat similar clip. Also a frame lock with a hardened steel insert. This one's out of LMAX. This one flips quite, ni quite, quite and nicely with the fuller as well as the back flipper. And on the Dragotac, big Dragotac, excuse me, easily middle finger flicked. You got to get a little bit of energy going and a little bit of wrist. I mean, the detent is not bad at all. In fact, you can open this knife that way <laughs> without any problem. You got enough weight in the handle. But uh, yeah, you can use this guy just like that. You could probably even pinch it open like that and roll it out. So uh, very easy to open, but locks up like a drum. Very, very, very solid indeed. Now here's another large knife with a high, or should we say wide blade. There's the Hell X by Concept Knives, designed by Mickle Williamson. And that's a large knife, but you can see that it uh, definitely pales size-wise to the Dragotac. Definitely a bigger blade, but you're carrying a little less with this guy, so. A few interesting things came with this knife. Of course, the large zipper pouch, but also, I thought this was kind of interesting. This is uh, Bastinelli's new kind of uh, statement. <laughs> Here's his warranty. Quality and customer service warranty. Human bullshit avoids warranty. <laughs> but I'm sure he'd be very good about any issues with the knives as far as getting them back to him. Now again, this is currently only available directly through Bastinelli. Here's his neat card. And there's how to get a hold of him. He's in Kissimmee, Florida. So this was a FedEx directly from Kissimmee. Came in yesterday. And what a prize. This is a keeper. 
Last Grail knife I think I mentioned was the uh, Stitch by Microtech, designed by Borka Blades. Uh, this one in my collection has equal prominence for sure. So hope you enjoyed that review and overview of the new Big Drago Tech from Bastinelli Knives. If you're interested in one, they're 400 bucks. They're not cheap. Get uh, directly in touch with Bastinelli Knives. Again, showed you the info, but here it is one more time. That is how to reach them. And I'll see if I can put that link in the description as well. Hope this review finds you well. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Be well.